Hi, I'm Elizabeth Denham. I have five children ranging from 16 to 8. Um, I married my husband three years ago after online dating and I um, am a freelance writer who writes for multiple publications. First, when I was 33, um, I didn't date for at least a year after that and when I was ready to date I had three small children and didn't have time to go out so I started online dating kind of didn't tell anybody kept a little bit of a secret and um, wound up having a lot of dates in the beginning I call it fresh meat syndrome when you're the newly online you get a lot of contact so over the course of five years I dated a lot and had a lot of crazy dating stories to the point where my friends started telling me you need to start writing these down. So I did. Um, when I started writing them down, the idea of writing a book was overwhelming to me, so I started it as a blog and I told one story at a time. Um, it was easy, quick, funny. I publicized it to my friends who were also, many of them, single mothers and dating and um, started getting a really good response. So eventually, after about five years, I decided to turn it into a book. In my new book, Sweeten the Deal, I chronicle the stories of my bad dates from the funny to the ridiculous to the scary to the downright criminal. Um, I also offer advice in between the stories because when you date for five years online you learn a lot about what to do, what not to do, how to write a good profile, how to keep yourself safe, how to learn to laugh and not take it so seriously so that it's not devastating every time you meet a crazy person or a scary person or a not quite right person um, and how to recognize what you want and, and be willing to stand up for that. Stories from my new book um, come to mind. I, I named the chapters after the funny qualities of the men that I dated. One is titled The Wanna Feel My Muscle Guy who um, was a former bodybuilder. He became a, a doctor later in his life. Still had a, a built physique and, and we sat down to dinner and we started to order and then he leaned over and said do you want to feel my muscle? And I thought he was joking, so I fell out laughing and I looked over and he was dead serious. And so then I felt bad because what do you do? Do you feel his muscle? And, and so that, that, that typifies some of the funny. Um, one of the scarier dates is the uh, want to shoot my gun guy. He uh, was very sweet, seemed very normal and nice, but asked me after a coffee date, asked me for a second date to go shoot a gun um, two cans off of his porch rail and I decided that was probably not a safe second date and declined. I think that men and women both would enjoy reading this book partly because everybody who's ever had a bad date can relate to these stories. Secondly, I do have a lot of things that I've learned. One of my friends, um, my sister's friend, was getting a divorce and started to online date and wrote his profile and she sent him my story called you know, ha when, do, when you know you're not ready to date, signs that you're not ready to date. And he immediately went back and read his profile and he had done everything I had said not to do. He listed everything he didn't want, he was very negative, he telegraphed all the bad things that had happened to him in his relationship into his profile, and so he immediately went back and took his profile down and decided maybe he wasn't quite ready. This piece of advice I would give anyone who's dating, whether it's online or not, would be to Know where your boundaries are. Know what your deal breakers are. Um, some people will not tolerate anybody drinking. Some people, I had friends whose boyfriends would treat their children badly. For me, that's a deal breaker one time and that would be the end. So if you don't commit to those and make your deal breakers break your deal, then you wind up stuck with someone who's not going to be a long-term healthy relationship. I really enjoyed writing this book. Um, you know, sweeten the deal as a part of the title is the funny part and the, the more serious part is how to spot and avoid the big red flags of online dating um, because it does have some, some serious side to it and advice mixed in with the humor. Um, if you think you can relate to this, if you've ever had a bad date in your life, you can go to sweetenthedeal.com and read all about it. You can download a free chapter and buy the book.